Earlier we looked at adding column names to our database, but what we didn't look at is actually removing column names if we don't need them. So this is equally as important because if you've got redundant columns in your database table that you don't need, it's probably a good idea to go ahead and remove them if it's safe to do so. So what we're going to do is go ahead and describe our current um, articles table articles and uh, we can see that we've got name description created and ID so let's say I wanted to go ahead and create a new field called updated just to give maybe an updated date of when the article was last updated um, I can go ahead and alter table um, articles add column and then I choose the column name so updated and then the type date time so that's going to go ahead and update that and give this updated uh, column with the type of date time and blah blah blah. Now let's just say you know time's gone by and I want to go ahead and remove this. How do I go ahead and do this? Well we use the same command we use alter table and then we choose the table name that we want to alter which is articles but this time instead of adding a column we use the drop keyword so we drop you'll often find in MySQL that drop means just get rid of so drop uh, column and then we choose the name of the column that we want to drop and in this case it's updated and that's as simple as that we just hit enter that's going to go ahead and drop it now bear in mind um, this is again a very dangerous command if you want to go ahead and drop a column and it contains data that data will be lost so you're dropping a column and your data has gone so you know you won't have that data um, you know kept somewhere it will just be gone with the column removal so now let's go ahead and describe the articles table and you can see that the table we get back no longer has the updated column we successfully added and then removed a column name